Uh oh. Suddenly, three people walked up to our table. These guys have evil intentions. Yeah, all right, everybody, welcome to the Indie Showcase with the Birdman. I am, said Birdman. This here is a bar tending master. Impressive. Very nice. As a matter of fact, this game shares a lot of similarities with uh, Honey Pop when it comes to the mini games and the not so mini games, obviously. But you are going to be a, a random dude. Things going pretty well in life. You actually even get yourself a girlfriend, but oh! Sadly for you, this girl with Tracy leaves you with a ginormous debt to possibly the Yakuza. And the only way you could repay this debt is by becoming a bartender in this illustrious bar. Filled with a lot of uh, uh, interesting characters, to say the least. <laughs> well, what could possibly go wrong? Nothing. I'm Ryan, an average normal worker. As opposed to an average abnormal worker. But unlike other workers, I have uh, 3 million debt on me. Wow. Back then, when the normal me received a dunning notice from a certain mafia, Finding out that I actually had a huge debt on me. You would be able to feel my despair, right? And all this is thanks to my ex-girlfriend. Look at her. How could I not? How could I not put in three million into her oldie fans? We were dating, right? Obviously, we must have. I mean, I never saw her face to face. She was on the other side of the screen and I gave her money. But me giving her money meant that we were dating, correct? That's not how that goes. Hey, buddy. It's not easy to find you. A few men in black sat in my room. <laughs> are these guys Yakuza or are they off to like a wedding somewhere? Hey, you can't run away. As one of the few lonely organizations, we're professional. So you better give up. A few men in black grabbed me by my hair, forced me onto the ground. I looked up at the man before me. In his eyes, I saw mockery, disdain, a bit of pity and unconcealed malice. My body started trembling in fear uncontrollably. Let's get to the point. The money. Uh, when are you planning on returning it? I I, I will definitely pay you back, but, but I, I, I didn't I already pawn my house to you? <laughs> Stop joking. How much is that shabby house of yours worth? Do you even know how much you owe? Three million. It's three million. I'm impressed that you dared borrow that many. Shouldn't really be that much, but hey. You know, it's a translation effort so far it hasn't been too bad. Yeah, I, I'm impressed that you guys dare to borrow me that much. Well, I mean, the moment I say that, um, <laughs> it gets a little bit worse, don't it? So, what happened was Emily borrowed this serious loan with my name, took the money, and left me. That's the only explanation I got after asking around. <sighs> Even now, I can't believe she'd do that. She must have her reasons for doing this. <laughs> yeah, she saw a sucker in front of her. So long story short, as you could probably imagine at this point, um, we were given a task which is to work at the bar to pay off what we owe because otherwise our menial paying job won't be enough. So here we are. Um, I've been asked to work as a bartender here. May, may I ask? Come with me. Sister Alina's waiting for you. Followed the security into the back of the pub in an exquisitely designed restroom. A tall, beautiful woman with honey brown hair appeared before me. Oh, yes, she did. Sis, I brought the man you asked for. Got it. You can go back. Yes. The security left the room and we're the only ones in the room. How, why am I dressed as a, as a bartender already? <laughs> when did this happen? I could feel her eyeing me and I couldn't help but take a small glance at her, too. <laughs> Talk about a big glance, am I right? What do you mean by that? I heard a few things about you. Uh-huh. Such as? And since I was too focused, I didn't react fast enough to what she said. By the time I came back to what I saw first was her mocking smile. Hmm. Is it that alluring? Yes. You don't, you don't understand how alluring it is. Uh, no, no, no I, I, I wasn't. Being caught staring, I tried to deny it in a panic. Hmm. <laughs> your reaction is pretty cute. But you should be more focused when I talk to you. After all, I'll be your employer from now on. Uh, yes, Sister Elena. I've had enough of the organization calling me that. As a hired employee, you can just call me by my name. Elena? Uh, she smiled and nodded. She looked really easygoing. I felt relieved that she didn't scold me for eyeing her. 
let me just ask, how much do you know about being a bartender? I I just worked as a bartender's assistant to pass. I kind of remember how to mix different alcohol, juices, and soft drinks as for the more complicated. Great. That's enough. Okay, so they give us a bit more of a rundown. I'll summarize it for you. We have essentially 30 days to pay back this ridiculous amount of money. Uh, we have some free time in which we could actually use to um, talk to people, improve our skills, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And then we have work time and obviously how much money we have. Right now, I guess we're going to do our first uh, mix. A first mix that would be nice if I could uh, understand. <laughs> All right. Um. So, how do I play? Well, that's a good question because the the language was not in something I understand. I guess I avoid that stuff and I pick up like the Bacardi. That's Bacardi right there, right? And ice. We don't want the banana peels in my drink. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna miss that Bacardi, but so be it. And they theoretically don't even have to even land inside the drink. I just gotta touch them with the drink. Oh, don't. Do you think the magnet is actually... I mean, here's my question. Would the magnet work like, you know, I'm playing Vampire Survivor. Well, I've never actually played Vampire Survivors, but if I'm playing a Vampire Survivors-like game, where you pick up the magnet and it pulls everything towards you, do you think the magnet in this game will do the same? Oh, we got money hours. Oh, it does! <laughs> I had to try it. So we had uh, some Jack Daniels at the end as well. I'm not sure if the game should be able to use uh, Bacardi and... Jack Daniel logos, but hey, what do I know? When I got down from the table, I heard Elena call my name. I look over and saw her sitting at a less crowded place with a smile. Anyway, being your first time on stage as a bartender, you're doing pretty well. Elena's attitude is as easygoing as ever. This made me feel warm at heart. Then, uh, well, what should I do now? Hmm? Well, now you can enjoy yourself at the pub. Get your cup and have fun with everyone at the dance floor. Or maybe you can go flirt with a girl you like. I, um... What? You've never been to places like this with your girlfriend? Uh, we, we're, we're not used to places like this. Anyway, right. I could see slight sorrow flush by her face. Then, since this is your first time, do you want to experience flirting with me? Uh, is this proper, Elena, as, as my employer? I mean, nowadays, you know, you can get into a lot of trouble because of that stuff like that. And that's what the pubs are. Be brave and get closer to the ones you like, and then get her a drink and start a topic she's interested in. Okay, so I guess uh, I still teach you this more of the basics of the game, so once you have the other girls that apparently join up, you'll be able to do much of the same. So right now we just have Elena. And apparently we're going to share a drink. And then there's two other options here. Talking and hearts. Hmm. wonder what the hearts are. Well, for now, let's see. Oh, hey, look at that. It's in English. Hey. Well, let's do normal first, and then we can increase it later if I feel uh, my old man reflexes keep up. Ah! Oh, that doesn't count! I was mashing! <laughs> oh, bro. You saw, I, I missed one because I was mashing. There was no time between the mash and the next uh, input to be like, okay, hey, uh, you gotta stop mashing now. Just like that, I drank and chatted with Elena. Her elegance and chatty nature gave me a great impression. Yeah, I think we could probably go with hard next time. I'm gonna not match too much because, uh, well, I'm gonna screw myself with the last time. I think one more match should do it there. Yeah. Okay. It could be the alcohol, but I feel like I can't take my eyes off of her sinful body. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's the alcohol. If not for the alcohol, <laughs> I wouldn't even put a second glance on you, baby. You see, that's my miss right there. I was mashing when you gave me that miss, you scumbags. Okay, so now that of apparently uh, we've both intoxified ourselves, nothing but good things could happen from this, right? We have a talk and we have an event. Oh, I see. I'm surprised that for a demo they actually had an event. But I guess doing the event it skipped us to the next day immediately, and we didn't get a chance to do the uh, talking thing. Oops. Oh well. That said, let's see. Here we have some of our free time, as I've mentioned. So, uh, no, I don't want to advance time. What, what can we do here in uh, menu? We have bags. How's this for? I'm not sure. I mean, we have a bunch of items here. I guess we'd use in bartending, but I'm sure that plays for us. We have a replay. 
Yeah, about that. Let's see what happens if I go back there. We go outside. Okay, so we go to the gym, go to the park, go to the mall. Ah, uh, let's go to... Where do you think I could develop my skills, allegedly? Uh, I mean, I'm not sure how gyms, the gym would help me out with bartending, but sure, I'll go to the gym. Gotta keep in shape. The gym club next into the apartment, the local built men are all gathered there. Yo, young man, do you want to go through some physical changes? Uh, I'm not sure we got to put it that way, but okay. I just want to train. Cost me a thousand. All right, buddy, come with me. I'll tell you beforehand. The gym trainers here are super strict. Drinking contest ability strengthened. So uh, I guess <laughs> working out at the gym made me a better drinker. Cool. Oh, it's, it's party time. All right, well, here we are, party time. Night at 20, I appeared at my workstation right on time. Thinking about the shocking amount I received yesterday, I swore to myself that I needed to work harder. Elena's on call not far away. She wasn't giving me much attention. Ah, but what happened yesterday, I really don't know how to face her now. Ah, nothing happened. You know, I don't know what he's alluding to. I shook my head regardless. I have to finish the work I have at hand first. So I could go to the music zone. Mix liquor, speak to Elena. What's the music sound? Oh, I guess we can make another area we could talk to different girls. Okay. Well, uh, let's uh, get to work first. What the hell is this? Attention, Cherry Skill is about to be unleashed. When Cherry Skill is activated, specific items will fall down. If you fail to catch this item, you will lose one heart. Who the hell is Sherry? Okay. <laughs> is this like a person here as a customer or what? Well, for now, we'll keep that in mind. Or, uh, I'm going to skip that one. Too many things falling on top of that are negatives. I see her meter's kind of filling up there a little bit. Magnet. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, um, her skill might be proccing soon, I think. Should be coming up now. There, right, okay. She she showed up. I I caught two of the three hearts. I think that fell. I think I, did, I still did fairly well. I also literally got paid the same as last time. Who was this Sherry though? <laughs> Why is she suddenly there? Oh, there she is. I see. Oh no! Don't 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 switch to a different language again. Okay, there we go. When I got down from my workstation, a cute girl with a short pink hair walked up to me with a wine glass in hand. Um, are you the bartender of this pub? <laughs> Isn't that hobby as well? What a dick. Yeah, you could say I'm a rookie bartender. Wow, you look pretty skilled just now. I thought you've been working for some time. Uh, how, how can I help you? <laughs> Nothing really. I just feel you look really handsome when you were working just now. Coincidentally, I also plan to work in this pub soon. So out of interest, I wanted to know a few things about bartending. Well, let's uh, invite to alcohol. Or to invite alcohol. Just the proper way. Ah, uh, sure, let's try hard. And I'm not gonna screw myself. I will just do a couple of taps because I don't wanna screw it up again. Um, if you feel uncomfortable, don't push yourself. Now I'm doing fine. A new button has appeared. When the above button appears, please do not press any buttons. Oh no. Well, don't don't add new things to the game. Oh, okay, I don't want that one. I don't want that one. I don't want that one. What game is it that throws X's at you? Like, in one of these, like, QTEs? Is it a Yakuza game? I feel like there's, like, a game I played not too long ago recently. For my own time. And I feel like it was, like, a QTE where you would do something like this, and then suddenly it throw, like, a... a sign at you that you're not supposed to click obviously but it goes so fast that you know you you inadvertently click it thinking like oh wait that's not supposed to be clicked damn i know there's a game i played recently that does that oh. we both tried the cocktails i made and during that time i kept introducing different ways of making different beverages at shirley honestly in the end 
I couldn't drink anymore. And Shirley was just a little bit better than me. Her cheeks were flushed and getting that she's getting a bit tipsy. <laughs> you actually drank with me for so long, they scare you with how much I can drink? Yeah. You're a total lush. Uh oh. Suddenly, three people walked up to our table. These guys have evil intentions. Ah, uh, Anna, you're here. I've been waiting for you. Oh, that's your friend, Anna. I had the three. I don't know if I'm mistaken, but instinctively, they don't look very friendly. Anna, let me introduce you. This is Ryan. He's the bartender of this pub, and his mixed drinks are really good. Oh, really? I should try it some other day. I could feel the unfriendly gazes from Shirley's friends. I was flustered, but considering they're Shirley's friends, I didn't want to say anything, so I just took my leave. Um, well, since your friends are here, I, I should get back to work. Mm, all right, then I'll see you next time. I nodded and also smiled politely at her friends, then left. Phew. Later, I occasionally helped some customers with the refills. I finally got to relax, but I wanted to earn some more tips with this opportunity. Great. I've earned a lot tonight. Just as I was happy about what I'd earned, I accidentally noticed a few familiar faces passing by me. You just know. Okay. So needless to say, um, this friend of, uh, Shirley wasn't really a friend. She was manipulating. Thankfully, we were there to make sure nothing went down. That said, we are out of time with this one. Um, this is only a demo. I'm surprised that there is scenes in the demo. And, uh, there's still more to do for only a demo. But hopefully you guys enjoyed it. This one should be coming out relatively soon, as a matter of fact. By the time you see the video, I think it should be out. I'm playing this like a week before release, so... Either way, hopefully you guys enjoyed. What didn't make this video will be over on the Patreon, along with other exclusive long format Let's Play series that I only do on Patreon these days. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you next time.